Days like these are treasured as some of the best days of our life. From the first chill felt at dawn, to the mules growing their winter coats, signs of the changing seasons are all around us. September has arrived, and with it comes archery elk season. It's finally here. And there's nothing quite like the joy found in hunting with my father and husband in a place where the elk are as incredible as the landscapes in which they call home. The greatest gift that I can possibly give them is to call a bull elk within bow range. And that is exactly what I hope to give my father and first time archery elk hunter, my husband, Yogi. Win, lose, or draw, we're here for the week. <laughs> opening day of archery elk season in a couple of days and uh, dad and Yogi and I got the camp packed in the other day and we're gonna go in a day before season get all set up so that opening morning we are in a good position to hunt bulls are starting to stage up and we saw a couple bulls of cows and we decided that tonight we would eat elk burgers from our elk hunt last year beyond the thrill of the hunt there is a deep connection to the land and its bounty. Hunting elk is about honoring the seasons, connecting with wild places, and providing for our loved ones. Hunting provides more than an adventure. Harvesting is a source of substance for our family. It's a staple in our kitchen throughout the year. It's a reminder of the good times that we've spent a field, where respect for nature ensures conservation in the continuation of these traditions for generations to come. Cheers, my first Wyoming elk hunt. Yes, welcome to Wyoming. Yep. Yeah. That is what it feels like to be yogi in the Titus household. You're getting yelled at constantly. That's what it's like to be married to Yogi, this divine voice. It's uh, like being around these guys all the time is like a nightmare. As we load up the mules, our anticipation builds for the journey ahead into the backcountry. I am filled with deep gratitude and affection for my horse and mules. Lexi and Lynx, now yearlings, have reached the age where they can finally join us and I'm thrilled to introduce them to their first official hunting season. A milestone we've eagerly awaited and one that promises many more memorable adventures ahead. Our mules have been more than just pack animals. They are a cherished members of our family and essential partners in our backcountry hunts. Through the years, they have carried us across rugged terrain and into the heart of some of our most unforgettable experiences. We packed our camp in last weekend. It's roughly 10 miles in. So we're hoping by being in so far, we can kind of get away from people and um, find some elk that maybe didn't quite get hunted or pressured during the early special tag. Their eagerness is obvious as we saddle up and prepare to hit the trail. 
Together with our mules, old timers, and youngsters like Lexi and Lynx, we forge ahead, ready for the challenges and the rewards of the hunting season to come. With each footstep on the trail, we carry in a shared excitement. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And On X Hunt. Know where you stand. We made it into camp. Uh, all the mules just put their heads down, did their job. The babies did awesome. Um, I was a little concerned, always concerned, when you have your bow strapped to you and like everything you need to be successful for a hunt. One wreck can really ruin things for for you. So I was just pretty thankful. Blessed we have good animals and um, it was just a beautiful day, really thankful. As soon as we got into camp, we were oh bull God. bugle. So it's here. Everywhere we look, there are reminders of Hunt's past. A weathered hunting camp nestled amongst the trees with its aged timbers worn by seasons and stories that still stand. The traces of old hunts serve as a reminder of the importance for this timeless tradition that binds generations together and the promise of a new tale waiting to unfold. I got a small five point. It looks like maybe a spike or a fork and horn or pretty small bulls. So we're going to make a circle around and try to get up above them. Let's just hug this brush line and try to get in front of them because we're going to miss them otherwise these ones are gone. You just got picky on me. I got picky on you, yeah. Tough bow hunting out in this big meadow. Worked perfect this morning, just the wrong bow. The wrong bow, yeah, it did work perfect. Uh, I think it's kind of early to hang it up. I'm gonna respectfully disagree with you. <laughs> Not arguing, but. Respectfully. Huh? When we were scouting last week, those elk were bugling and they came right through here. Yeah. They came last night, they were in here. They came through here this morning. I say we just go hang out and we have a long boring day and relax and we get in them tonight. If we put pressure on them and they dive off, you're gonna, you're gonna regret your life. We're um, getting ready to go out for the evening hunt. We're trying to decide right now how long we're gonna wait for thermals. It's a little after four. The wind is just kind of swirling. We wanna make a nice gradual climb up this hillside. We don't wanna run up it and get sweaty, but I also don't wanna get up there too soon. Time is a commodity that we cannot purchase. It's priceless, the most precious gift we possess. And as the time passes, 
our roles in the hunt evolve. Not long ago, my dad set aside his own pursuits so that I could experience elk hunting. Now, nothing brings me greater joy than witnessing my dad experience the thrill of the elk rut. No matter the outcome in hunting, one of the greatest joys is having a bull elk within bow range. I didn't have him ranged, so I'm guessing. And uh, I had him at 50 yards. I think he was about 40 yards. So I put my 50 yard pin on him and shot right over the top of him. But that's elk hunting. There's another group coming. I think we got a little pasture but group of bulls. Looks like mostly small bulls. We're hoping there's one pretty good one in here. perfectly executed if those elk wouldn't have come in silent at first. <laughs> yeah, it surprised me. You know, the problem is when you got that many bulls and they're all screaming, they don't really pay any attention to each other. Right. It's not like, you know, when you got a bunch of cows and... We're gonna have a good week because it's elk season and it doesn't get any better than this. Cheers. Either way. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. When those are draw, we're here Cheers. for the week. <laughs> We are gonna do a little bit of a move today. I'm pretty excited. We rode into this spot this last summer while scouting and kind of stopped at this one point. I feel like we've pushed between us and the other group of hunters in here. I feel like we've, we're pushing these elk farther and farther down, you know, in the mountain. So there's a creek that runs down through and really, really heavy, heavy, dark timber. It's really hot today. And I think it's gonna be a really good spot to check out. It's gonna get us as far as we can get on horses and out of the camp, and then we'll take the rest on foot. So it's kind of a scouting exploratory mission today.
Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure. And Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. One of the heartbreaks of bow hunting is when the bull of your dreams teeters just out of range. These are the moments that linger in our hearts, drawing us back to the woods year after year. I want to let these elk get off this open face. I don't want them to see us. No, we still got at least there's, five bulls. Well, there's two, two good bulls, bulls up there. Two really good bulls. Yeah. For Dad and Yogi, this season will be etched into memory as a roller coaster of highs and lows, the near misses and heartaches. Bow hunting is filled with exhilarating challenges that bind hunters and generations together. This closes the chapter on their archery elk hunt and paves the way for me to return to pursue filling my own archery elk tag.
you know, the nice thing about Wyoming is I can still hunt with my rifle and I'd rather hold my tag for an opportunity at a more mature bull. This young five by five just isn't really, this isn't really what I want to push hard after. So we had a good bow season in here. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, today we ride out. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, PursueTheWild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.